Happy Petting with Sherry Hardman. Today's guest is Ben Warren. Hey, Ben. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing so good. Uh, would you like to introduce us to your friend right there? Yep, down here, it's my buddy Shalico. Shalico. Uh, yep, he's, uh, he's actually 16 years old. Wow. Um, I've had him since he was three months old. Wow, that's pretty old for a bigger dog, huh? Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's, every to every year, we're kind of like, well, is this going to be the year? But every year, he gets up and runs around and chases after cats and dogs and all kinds of stuff. And we say, well, maybe one more. Tell me about the day that you got Shalico. Do you remember that? Oh, I sure do. Uh, we, we wanted to adopt, I wanted to get my partner a dog, um, for Christmas and uh, she couldn't decide. And then they were gonna ship all the puppies that were in our county to this no kill shelter. And they said, you gotta come get them tonight if you want them. Cause I had been coming down to visit a bunch and, uh, <clears throat> and it was dumping snow. And I drove down and I picked him out and took him home. And uh, he was just peering over the back seat of my truck when my wife came out and, and met him. And she, was, <laughs> she was floored. Uh, yeah. Now, how did he get his, he, is it a he? Yep, he's a he, and... How did he get his name? His name, um, so my wife and I used to be snowmakers at this ski resort, and uh, on the super clear nights, you could ride a snowmobile up into this bowl called Shalico Bowl and watch the shooting stars, and it was kind of one of our favorite places uh, to go make out and watch the stars oh so that's romantic yeah ah huh. um does he i don't you don't have to do it right but is he like did he ever does he have any tricks or does he have any quirks or is there anything uh he uh you know he was a pretty smart dog he i kind of he can find stuff just a little bit, like find his own toys and find treats. Um, he's, uh, let's see, he's an avid outdoor dog. Um, he doesn't come very well unless he really wants to, he got something to want. And then uh, his favorite thing is a sprinkler on a golf course. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He will just attack it uh, until he's vomiting from all the water he drinks. <laughs> That's funny. It's it's pretty hilarious to watch, honestly. Do you have any other pets, or is he our only? Uh, he's our only our only pet. <laughs> well, like, he's man. cute. I like him. Thanks. If he uh if he were to write a review of you as an owner, what would he say? Oh man, uh, it'd be pretty long. But uh, you know, when I first met Ben, I thought that I died and gone to hound dog heaven. Uh, for six years, he took me to work every day, and we went rafting and rode snowmobiles. I ran free in the Rockies, hunting wild animals at night, and slept all day. Uh, on the days when he couldn't take me, uh, his partner would take me to her work, her ranch, which had some of the biggest dog toys you've ever seen. Uh, sometimes they kicked. Um, we were all best friends, and he would always go the extra mile on walks. I didn't even know what a collar was. Uh, <laughs> Little did I know that the honeymoon was about to end because his wife went back to, to medical school after being tired of living in tents one summer. And I got introduced to backyard fences and leash laws and walks in the dog park. I mean, who walks their dog in a cage with other dogs they can't stand? Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, they had kids. <laughs> I mean, the big one loves me, but he pets me the wrong way, and the little one just wipes boogers in my fur. Uh, had I known this is what the last years of my life would be like, I may have stayed in the pound. They were sending me to a no-kill shelter, after all. Uh, but really, five stars. It's been a great ride. All right. Sounds like somebody's had a great life there. It's been a, you know, yeah, he's 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 been pretty lucky, man, For compared to some dogs. Um, Pretty free range. So you were expecting that question. That means you did your homework and watched an episode of my show. I did my homework, yes. 
I know everybody comes on here, they're like, what is this? It's like, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> That's funny. All right, you're my favorite so far. Everybody else can suck it. So, <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna switch over now. We're gonna start talking about heavy petting of the human variety. I still think I have to explain this every time because some people don't know. I know you do, but heavy petting originally meant sexual contact up to the point of sexual intercourse. For the purposes of this show, anything that has to do with dating or lovemaking or relationships, whatever works for you. If you have a story in that realm, we would love to hear it. Okay. Uh... You know, I've, I've got a, it's kind of been a while since I've done much just heavy petting. Uh, and, you know, because I've been in a relationship now, I'm married for like 20 years. So we usually, wow. go, we go a little further than uh, right. just the heavy petting most of the time. But uh, <laughs> when I was in college, um, we were in this group called the Bubba's, which uh, is the weirdest fraternity ever. Um, and uh, we used to throw these huge keg parties and everybody would get rip roaring drunk and, uh, and have a good time. Um, and one night after a party, myself and this young lady found our way to a barn on campus and we were doing some serious heavy petting in the hayloft of this barn. Uh, and we got completely naked and we lost all our clothes in the hay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and we were, we were planning on going a little further, but uh, we didn't bring protection. And I was always uh -huh. a very timid guy in that respect. Uh, and, and I politely declined. We made out a little bit more. Uh, and I will say that that lady had the hairiest nipples that I have ever seen in my life. Huh. I was going to say, ew, but I don't want to body shame anybody, yeah. but. No, no. It was interesting. Uh, <clears throat> I, and I'm, I don't want to body shame her because uh, I have never, ever seen a hairy nipple before. And, and that was the only time I did. It was very unique. Um, but uh, anyway, we had to walk back to campus. Now, wait a minute. I, I gotta, just got to ask, was she hairy in other places, too? Not at all. Really? No. No, not at all. Uh, I mean, I'm a hairy guy. You would think very hairy. You know, at my college, that hair was very common. Uh, uh -huh. I'm, I'm into it. My, my wife's the hairy lady. We're all, uh -huh. we're, all we're down with the hair. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but no, no, she wasn't. She's a very prim and proper young, young woman. Got it. So, did you find your clothes? We didn't. You didn't? We didn't find our clothes. And uh, and we walked back to school. And uh, I nakedly escorted her back to her dorm. Um, which was awkward, because it was one of the only um, women's dorms on campus. Uh, and uh, it was weird standing there naked, dropping her off, uh, even though it's all very above the board. And I was really a gentleman, and uh, it felt weird. Wow. <laughs> yeah, to to be naked on the door on the doorstep of the of the the women's dorm, you know. <laughs> and then I have to find my way back to my. It wasn't quite a walk of shame because it was still like two a.m. Well, like how far of a distance are we talking here from one place to the other? We're talking about a half a mile. From You mean from the barn to the dorm? Yeah. About a half a mile. And I had to lift her over a fence and climb over a fence myself. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was awkward. I had a few... Well, that was a memorable occasion, huh? That was, yeah. That was my last heavy petting uh, experience um, <laughs> that I can remember anyway. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. You got a little wild. Um, all right. So what's the best compliment anyone's ever given your naked body? <laughs> oh, man. I 
you know, it's hard to say. I don't get a lot of compliments on my naked body, but uh, weirdly enough, maybe the best compliment I ever received, uh, and it was sort of indirectly at to me, but uh, when I used to ski patrol, we would all change together in the locker room. And uh, one of my good buddies, one day when my wife was in the locker room with us, turned to her and said, I can see why you're married to Ben. <laughs> and that's probably the nicest thing anybody's ever said about my naked body. That is a nice thing. Um, she, uh, my wife likes my arms when I'm in river guide season and I trim down and my arms start to get really big. Mm -hmm. I notice a lot of uh, arm squeezing when I'm naked. Oh yeah, muscle. That's yeah, we like the muscles. All right, so it looks like this episode's gonna come out like in September. Do you have any idea if you have anything you wanna promote around that time? Oh man. I and if sure, not, just let people know how to find you. I sure hope so. You know, I've got a, uh, three great shows I'm trying to produce down here in Portland um, that right now are not happening. Uh, we're really hoping that by September we're back up and running, but uh, Laphrodisiac, is that a, uh, a kinky swingers club here in Portland called The Sanctuary, uh, second Saturdays. We got uh, Midnight Gravy, which is every Saturday night at the Space Room at midnight. And uh, I'm working on a new project over at the um, Revolution Music Hall. That'll be a monthly right. show. Um, now, do you have a website or can they just find you on Facebook? Or uh, Unfortunately, I'm really lazy in that respect. And you okay. can only find me on Facebook. Yeah, I think, I think I know that. Don't I know that? Maybe. Yeah, I, I need to get at a website. But yeah, just Ben Warren on Facebook right now. Okay. Uh, and I'm sure as soon as I get something going website-wise, I'll post it there. All right, next time I make a trip down to Portland, I'll hit you up. Please do. I'd love to have you on. Be fun. What's on her mind? She's a big, big girl. In a skinny woman's world. Now she's a big, big girl. In a skinny woman's world. Now she's a big, big girl. Big, big girl. Yeah.